Freddie McGriff to lead off. And he launches one to deep right field. She's gone to tie it. He was looking fastball, Jim. <laughs> I'd say yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, was that ball crushed? Woo. One, two, pop, foul, giving chases Jones, and he makes the catch to give the Braves the win. like a veteran former shortstop and he corrals it and as you're right Al almost did overrun it that's why they call him chipper <laughs> Hershiser suffers his first ever postseason loss, and all it took was Greg Maddox. Ted Turner watches his team make its magic number three. Three for a world title. Another one two pitch. Sidearm again in the air to deep center. This at least gets a run home, maybe more. Lofton will watch it leave. That ball just kept on carrying, and Lopez continues to be a clutch performer in the postseason, snapping the two all tie, and the Braves lead it four to two. You knew it had left the bat that he had snapped the tie with at least a sacrifice fly. But that ball just kept on going. The Braves have not been a good hitting ball club, but they have been a club that produces runs, and they are a powerful hitting ball club that get a lot of clutch base hits. And Javier Lopez is one of the best. That ball was right down Main Street. Look at this. But you have to give Lopez credit. He stays out there. He extends and gets to it. He didn't try to pull it, and he's so strong he can drive the ball out in any part of the ballpark. About the fork ball or split finger in this situation. Fastball inside. A throw in to first base, and they got him. Ramirez with the mistake of a youngster in a World Series game straying off first. That was a planned pickoff play though. You saw the sign by Javier Lopez inside and then he gave him the fist like you really pumping in there and see he's already throwing already. He's ready to go. That was a pant planned play. They saw Ramirez was getting too big a lead at first base. Oh, and they had him by plenty Joe. Great pitch by Pena for a catcher to throw on. Right. Up High and, and tight. Come right out behind the hitter. There's nobody in your way. This is a big, big play. And he had him by plenty. Fremming right on it. Again, the 3 2. And this one is popped up. It's Chipper Jones. And it's 2 0 Atlanta.
and they both pitched a lot last night as that's drilled to right field and out of here. So Klesko didn't like the call on the prior pitch and then Hill sends one into the groove for him and Klesko who homered off Hill on the 9th of June in Atlanta when Ken was with the St. Louis Cardinals duplicates the feet here one nothing that was before tonight's game the last regular season at bat against Hill a home run by Klesko and we said the offense never lays a finger on it but they occasionally lay the good part of the bat on it and that's what Klesko does here split finger fastball and it's a rocket to right. That's hit in the air to right center field and racing over is Ramirez and he can't make the play. Grissom around third being waved in and scores to give Atlanta the lead on a double by Polonia. Not bringing him in to face Polonia and make Bobby Cox make a move because you're going to take him out right now anyway. And I'm sure that uh, Mike Hargrove will walk Chipper Jones and but now he's got to face McGriff and Justice unless McGriff hits into a double play whereas before you get a switch of Polonia for a right handed batter. Five two Braves two out of the ninth. And that's lined to right field and backing up and making the catch is Justice. Lost and smoking into right field. Wohler's the first guy out of the dugout. A star is born right there. Pedro Bourbon Jr. The pitching coach Leo Mazzoni heaves a sigh of relief. And the kid comes out of the pen. Pitching for the first time in 19 days. With the crowd in a frenzy. And he stills them in Cleveland. Tom Glavin was 16 and 7 for the season. 1 0 in the postseason, as you see, he pitched well in both the division series and the LCS. Here's the 2 2. Struck him out. Bounce back to Glavin. He's out of the first 1 2 3. He punches him out. Got him swinging for his second strike out of the inning and his third in the first two frames. He couldn't check and he's gone for the fourth strikeout for Tom Glavin in two and a third. Fans roaring on one and two and Glavin finishes the inning with his fifth strikeout through three. He's gone for the sixth strikeout recorded by Glavin. Breaking ball down and in. And Vizquel wants to know if it was a called strike or if he said he didn't check his swing. Struck him out. Seven strikeouts through five. Hasn't allowed the Indians a hit. Georgia Governor Zell Miller alongside Jane Fonda showing his approval. 1 1 pitch. A long drive to right. Ramirez turns to the track. She's gone. Day of justice. All is forgiven in Atlanta. Bob, it's okay to talk the talk if you can walk the walk. <laughs> Strikeout number eight for Glavin. Drop another one down. McGriff. Glavin covers. A one hitter through eight. And inning away from the end of a five year quest for the Atlanta Braves. Bayerga is 0 for 3. Left center field. Grissom on the run. The team of the 90s has its world championship. Here is Bayerga. 
Walters looks in to get a sign. Big right hand to Reddy delivers fastball. Hit in the air to left center on the dead run is Grissom. He's got it, and the Atlanta Braves are the champions of the world. And they are going wild. Mobbing Walters, a huge mile of humanity in front of the mound. The crowd dancing in the aisles, fireworks going on overhead, and quietly the Cleveland Indians slowly in single file leave their dugout. Bill Bartholomew, the chairman of the board of the Braves out on the field. The players absolutely delirious. They have waited forever, it seems, I'm sure, if you're an Atlanta Braves fan. I would think so. What a masterpiece, Ben. We, this whole thing was billed as the best pitching in baseball against the best hitting, and the pitching has won out, and the Braves sure deserve it. 51,000 plus on their feet. Nobody's left to beat the traffic tonight, I guarantee you. Mark gets the sign. The wind and the pitch, here it is. Swung, fly ball, deep left center. Grissom on the run. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. The Atlanta Braves yeah. have given you a championship. Listen to this crowd. A mob scene on the field. Rollers get them one, two, three. A couple of fans rushing on the field, and the constables restrain them. The Atlanta Braves have brought the first championship to Atlanta. 